Hello and welcome back to our mini-series, A Week in the Life of Jesus, where we've been diving into Holy Week, Passion Week, and kind of seeing what Jesus has been doing each of the days as we progress in our week here, as we prepare ourselves for Easter Sunday. So this is part four in our series, Thursday. So if you've missed the other days, you can just click right here, and hopefully a link will pop up if I've done this right. If not, then just click in our channel and you'll find the rest of the videos there. So just a real quick recap of what's been happening. On Monday, if you remember, Jesus comes into Jerusalem. He enters into the temple and he starts driving out people out of the temple for doing evil things. On Tuesday, we learned about Jesus teaching in the temple and he taught about the great commandment, how we should love God and we should love people. And then yesterday, Wednesday, we saw Jesus teaching again. And in the middle of teaching, he sees this uh, poor widow and she just gives two coins and he commends her for giving sacrificially and how we should be giving sacrificially for one another in ways of not just monetary, but in every way possible. And so today we're going to be diving into uh, the Last Supper, the Passover festival more specifically. And for that, we're going to be in John chapter 13. Um, we're going to be going through quite a bit of it. Uh, it's going to be from verse 1 through 17. And to save time, I'm going to read kind of the back end where I want to focus a little bit more. But if you have time afterwards, I'd highly recommend that you just take a couple minutes and just read from verse 1 through to verse 17. So I'm going to go and dive into verse. This is going to be starting in verse 12. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. So the first thing I want to go over is the significance of actually washing feet. So for us in our day and age, we don't really do that because there's no need for it. We've got shoes and we've got socks and our feet are fairly well protected. But in those days, all they had were sandals and that was it. So everywhere they went, their feet were just being blasted with water and dirt and mud and grime and everything that happens. So the best example I could think of for us is if you went to the beach and you just got out of the water and you started walking and your feet are just picking up all the sand and then you start going towards your car and you get all the dirt and all the grime and everything just picks up there and you look down and you see your feet are just caked in dirt and grossness. That is what Jesus is washing off of these disciples' feet. That is what's happening. And usually the only people who did this job was the lowliest of lowly servants of the household. And so Jesus is coming in and he is doing the job of the lowliest servant. So I think the way that we apply this today is we look to see who can we serve whether that be in our household, whether that be in our neighborhood, our city, our state, our nation, or our world, we look and see who can we serve. And in this moment, in this quarantine, in this COVID-19 stay at home situation, look towards who's in your house that you can serve. Whether that be your mother, your father, your husband, your wife, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your nephew, your niece, whoever it is, how can you serve the people around you? And as we continue past Easter, as we continue past the situation of COVID-19 and we return back to normal life, if you ever think that there's somebody that you cannot serve, think about what Jesus is doing here. Again, I started in verse 12, but if you look back to verse 2, it reads that the evening meal was in progress and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. So again, Jesus is God. He knows that Judas is going to betray him and Judas is at this table and yet Jesus washes Judas's feet. Jesus is washing the feet of the man who is going to send him to the cross to be crucified and killed. So there is no one in this world that we cannot serve and we cannot show God's love to. So once again, we want to encourage you to invite your friends and family to join us on Easter this coming Sunday. You can find the link down below here, as well as in the description. You'll also find a nice little graphic that we created that you can share on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you'd like to post it. So thank you again for joining us and we'll see you guys tomorrow.